things you look out for when you drive for dollars? Things that I'm looking out for is, of course, uh, number one, I want to make sure that the area is, you know, well traveled. I want to make sure there's not necessarily frontage, but there's traffic. A lot of people think that, hey, there's no frontage. That means I'm not going to have a successful project. That's actually a huge misconception for flex space developments. The advantage that we have as developers is that we actually don't require frontage, but we do require traffic, right? So you want to make sure it's well traveled. You want to make sure the traffic counts are there. You want to also make sure that the type of businesses that you're thinking about, so your tenants that you're thinking about, are actually going to come and lease in those areas. So don't go into urban areas where land is not abundant, very tight, very small, and think that, oh, this is going to be a successful flex space development because it's probably not. Uh, those settings are built for different types of commercial real estate. For flex space, you want to venture out, I would say at least 30 to 40 minutes outside your downtown. And you want to make sure that you have a little bit of space where you can build more than one building catered to more than one tenant. And that's kind of what builds a successful flex space project.